Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more surface combat in Cold Waters with Dot Mod. Today we are taking out the Arlie Burt class, and we are going up against a small Russian task force along with a submerged contact. I do hope you all enjoy this video and let me know what you would like to see with Dot Mod next. I have to say, the latest version of Dot Mod is pretty awesome. A lot of the changes they have made are pretty cool. And, uh, well, it really just builds more anticipation for sea power uh, playing these surface uh, scenarios, if I'm being honest. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. And we already have multiple contacts. We are currently making turns for 20 knots, and a Udaloy is engaging us. So let's go ahead and get a standard missile ready. And VLS and fire that off to intercept and destroy that missile. There we go. One away. And let's change course slightly. New heading 265. We also have CR4 here, which very well may be a submerged contact. Let's fire off a couple more standard missiles. And I want to shoot a few towards the Udaloy. In anti ship mode to maybe three three away and then we'll fire two harpoons towards the Udaloy there we go harpoons away looking good Udaloy is the primary oh my gosh engage with our five inch gun <laughs> engage with the five inch gun please. yeah the Udaloy is the scariest thing out here there we go another missile just got launched from the Udaloy I do not like that one bit we are currently making 20 knots, looking pretty good. Missiles are closing in on the Udaloy. She's deploying chaff and shooting them down. There goes her Sea Whiz. Okay, one of our standard missiles got through and hit the target. It probably didn't do a whole lot of damage. Okay, I accidentally fired a Tomahawk, apparently. That's not going to do anything. Let's fire... Let's fire multiple standard missiles to try to defend our harpoons. At least one of them, anyway. Let's see here. We have a missile coming in. Okay. Harpoons were all destroyed, unfortunately. And this Udaloy is going crazy. Launching all sorts of stuff towards us. Can we fire a... Standard missile towards that? Okay. Deploy chaff, just in case. It's coming back around. There it is. And we got it. Sea Wiz took care of it. Increased speed. 34 knots. There we go. Missile destroyed. How's this Udaloy looking? Looks okay, all things considered. Unfortunately... Oh, she's turning tail. This may be our chance to strike. Okay, anti-ship mode. One. Two. Three. Okay, I just got a launch from the Udaloy. Fire another harpoon towards her. Yeah, just shoot a harpoon at her. I am curious what CR4 is. It most definitely is a sub at this point. Turn on active sonar, see if we can pick it up. We are moving extremely quickly. 35, 34 knots. Okay, we got another hit on the Udaloy. Another standard missile. Looks like she is on fire now. Jeez, this is just crazy for her. Let's see what's going on. I have a few other things inbound. Looks like we hit her right in the stern. Okay, took out that missile. Our harpoon is coming in. Let's try to intercept that missile. We'll see if we can do it. Hopefully our harpoon will actually acquire something. We also have Master 2 and Master 3 out here, which aren't going to be capable of doing too much. Harpoon is turned on target. Come on. Eight. Oh, thank goodness. The harpoon's going through. Harpoon's going through. Come on, harpoon. You can do it. Hopefully these guys will intercept. Oh, okay. Harpoon was taken out. <laughs> of course it was. All right. Well... Harpoons are just hard. Hard for the harpoons to actually get through here, but the Udaloy is now up in smoke. She is flaming, not looking good. Borderline dead in the water, only making nine knots. 
Let's fire more standard fire missiles at her. BLS. These seem to be working rather well in anti-ship mode. Fire I think it's just BLS. the speed really helps. Additionally, fire let's fire... BLS. Multiple. There we go. VLS is going crazy. Con sonar. Launch transient from. Con sonar. Launch transient from. Okay, our Udaloy friend is not looking too good. We are continuing to engage with the five inch gun. She looks pretty much dead in the water. Let's decrease, oh my gosh, we got another hit there. She's only making five knots now. She's barely just drifting here. And there we go. Five inch gun took her out. Let's transition to master two. And I honestly, okay, it does have Sea Whiz. And Let's engage with a couple of standard Fire missiles BLS. here. Two away. And then let's shoot a harpoon. Sierra four. Okay, Sierra 4 is launching. A submarine, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, definitely a submarine down here. That's something we are going to have to deal with here. Let's shoot a uh, couple of harpoons towards Master 3 as well. Harpoons away. And let's reduce speed down to 15 knots so we can deploy our toad array. How's this looking? There we go. One hit with the standard missile. Not looking good. Two hits. Engage. Engage with the five incher. Finish this thing off. Honestly, a harpoon will definitely do it in. It doesn't look like she's actually engaging with Sea Whiz. She may be. They may not be able to bear on the incoming missile, so. Or at least they couldn't earlier, and now they definitely can. That she's turning to port. Okay, we had a launch right here. Right there. Alright, you know what time it is. Let's drop torpedoes right on that position. Multiple ways. Yeah, there goes Sea Wiz. Took out the harpoon. What a shame. Alright, more standard missiles then. Actually, no, no, let's not. Let's see if this harpoon is going to get through here. Master 3 is still bow on, so Sea Wiz probably won't be able to engage. A harpoon should take this out. We have quite a few um, torpedoes in the air that are going to drop down upon Sierra 4. There we go. Master 3 is taken out. We'll finish off Master 2 with the gun. Deploy the toad array. Perfect. Master 2 is destroyed. There we go. All surface contacts have been mopped up. We had another launch. Torpedoes are dropping in now. Love to see it. Parachutes deployed. Splash. Three. Three in the water, right near the launch. Let's try to identify the contact. Reduce speed to 10 knots, please, so we can actually hear. All right, obviously, a Russian sub. Whiskey, Romeo, no, no, no. Victor. Akula. Yasin. That's it right there. Definitely a Yasin. See if any of these torpedoes actually pick it up. In any case, let's change course. And try to uh, figure out where Sierra 4 is and sink her. Okay, we've picked up all the torpedoes that are coming our way from the Yasin. Our solution is hovering around 60%. We can't really hear her. And probably because there's a strong layer at 208 feet, and the Yasin is hanging out at around 1,000 feet, which is fantastic. However, I'm thinking... Okay, let's have all of our torpedoes. First off, let's fire multiple torpedoes have them go off deep we want to shoot our torpedoes on the port side of the ship they are going to use passive sonar one there we go two three shoot a spread and see if we can find her solutions at 62 percent i'm still maintaining 10 knots mainly just so we can avoid these torpedoes here hopefully get out of the way of them 
And uh, once they are past us, we will reduce speed down to around five knots, so we can really just listen for Sierra 4 here. Okay, we got another launch, multiple launches, right here on this position. So the Yasin is much closer than expected. Okay, right there. Fire VLS. More ass rock right on this position. Saturate it. Okay. How many more of these do we have? Oh my gosh, we have 17? Alright, a few more. Okay, solution's at 95%. Apparently, the Yasin must have sent out an active ping or something. There she is. Hello. Hello, Mr. Yasin. All right. Yeah, these look good. Dropping down now. Gosh, the new animations, too, that the modders have made are just fantastic. All right, splashing right on top of her. Oh, my gosh, that is so perfect. That is beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, this Yasin. That was a mistake firing those torpedoes. We were having trouble picking her up. Okay, but we do have this problem going on. Let's retract the tow array, increase speed to 20 knots, and uh, fire a few more in her path. Alright, have fun with that. Okay, one Mark 50's coming in. Looking good. Right in the screw. Impact. One hit. Okay, we have multiple more <laughs> inbound right along her path. Let's fire, fire a couple BLS. more. Fire BLS. Just really go crazy and take this thing out. We are making 20 knots because I'm anticipating we are going to lose contact here. All right, looking good. All of our torpedoes splashing in. Splash. There's our Yasin French. She has another Mark 50 on her six coming in. That looks like it's gonna hurt. These torpedoes, have, this one's immediately acquired once it's splashed in. Looking good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this Yasin's in a world of hurt. Despite the noisemakers. Only so much you can do. It looks like the Yasin has some serious flooding in her stern. Which makes sense. Oh my gosh, let's look at all these torpedoes in the water. It looks like we're getting out of the way of the incoming torpedoes. Looking pretty darn good. You know what? Let's go ahead and fire off another Mark 50. Aye, sir. Oh, they're Mark 46s. I'm sorry. I've been saying Mark 50 this entire time. My apologies. Okay, drop another more ass rock. Please? Although, probably not necessary. Oh my gosh, look at this. I do not envy this Yasin's situation. Is that another hit right there? It looks like it might be one. Proximity fuse did not go off. How about this one here? Impact. Yasin is still operational though, but she is sinking. Okay, we have actually lost contact this time. This torpedo is pretty scary. Increase speed to 34 knots. Start running. Tota Ray is retracted, right? Okay, yes it is. Good. Okay, the Yasin's position is not good. I don't think uh, things are going to go too well for her. Check damage control real quick. Just wanted to check and see if we were, in fact, unscratched, and indeed we are. Loads of torpedoes in the water. Do I want to drop more? Probably not. Probably should not drop more, although a Yasin is a very nice prize for sure. We'll see. Her situation looks grim. Sierra, four, con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing, two, eight, eight. Okay, Sonar has reported there is a torpedo heading towards us. Let's reduce speed and try to pick it up. Where is this torpedo? Deployed, Nixie. There it is. Okay, change course. Increase speed to 15 knots. That's not surprising. Can we... De okay, let's get Nixie all the way out there. 
I get to show this. Oh, the Yasin's sinking. We hit her. She's going down. Perfect. So now all we have to do is actually evade a torpedo, which uh, has proven to be extremely easy in the past, hasn't it? Okay. Increase speed to 20 knots. Can I keep my Toad Array out at 20 knots? All right. Turn on Nixie. All right. Let's see. Is a torpedo going to go for it? Regular decoy, just in case. Okay, the torpedo is going for Nixie. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's change course. Ha! Oh, it hit it! It exploded! Okay! Wow, I was not expecting that. Um, it's destroyed, but we're okay. Let's begin uh, repairing that, and, well, I think we are pretty much good here. No more torpedoes are on us. Everything's clear. Well, and there we have it. We have survived, and we have not been damaged. A bit of an easier mission, especially in the Arleigh Burke, but still a lot of fun, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you would all like to see next in Cold Waters with Dot Mod. The surface combat is still quite a bit of fun, and definitely builds anticipation for sea power, that is for sure. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.